Hello everybody. Today we are making soy milk. And let's just get this out of the way really quick. If you are wanting to watch a show that has like an impeccably clean, perfect kitchen <laughs> or, um, you know, perfectly coiffed person, this probably isn't the show for you. Um, I don't know why I keep calling it a show. Don't ask me. Vlog, whatever, video. I don't know. Anyway, so I'm making soy milk. The first time that I made soy milk, I used a recipe. Um, I think it's from like the vegan pantry. And it's uh, something like soy milk, no beanie flavor or something. And the way that it's made you don't have to uh, soak the soybeans which I was like hey that sounds real great so what you do is you just boil the soybeans and then you blend them real quick and it's it's hardly I mean it said to to pulse it like 10 times or something I barely got any soy milk at all out of that recipe. Now, so last time that I made soy milk, I got th that recipe and another recipe mixed up and ended up with a ton of soy milk. Um, so this time I'm making, I've got half of it here, the other half's over here of the soybeans. I soaked them all night. Um, so uh, let me think, it was... I think it was half a cup in each jar because I put them in I put them in a jar overnight. Uh, so yeah, they've been in the jar for I don't know, like almost 24 hours or so now. Because um, <laughs> I'm just now getting around to it. It's so hot in my kitchen today. I was just like, no, I'm not doing anything until it cools off. Okay, so this recipe is from, let me look, uh, the High Protein Vegan Cookbook for Athletes by Jenna Braddock. So there you go. You had to like see my torso just so that I could look over there. That's awkward. Okay, so what you do after you've soaked your soybeans, <laughs> after I soak the soybeans, um, I've got one cup, so I'll put that in here into my blender, and then three cups of water. And it says to blend that, it says to blend that for one minute. So I'll be timing it and, and do it for one minute. And this comes out pretty smooth. In comparison to that first um, recipe that I had used, the no soak soybean one, I mean, the amount that I got was just not even comparable. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to blend this and then I'm going to do the same for the others um, and then I'll show you what I do last. Okay, so I have finished blending all of our soy milk or I guess you wouldn't call it soy milk yet, our soybeans uh, with the water. So we are going to go ahead and dump it all in here. I've got this big giant stock pot, so why not use it, right? Right. Okay, so we're supposed to stir and stir and stir um, for 10 minutes. So we're going to do that. We're just going to keep stirring it up for 10 minutes, and then um, we'll go to the next step. I It's kind of boring. Uh, I actually have other stuff that I'm planning to do, you know, while I'm waiting for this to finish because, like I said, it is it is kind of boring. But yeah, I'm just going to stir this up and then I'll come back. Okay, after 10 minutes of stirring at medium low, we are ready to take this um, soy water mixture and dump it into the sink well not in the sink you'll see what I'm doing so let's move this over here 
let's see if we can get a good view I think I have been like trying to perfect where it goes before I turned on the camera okay so I've got a bowl here to catch all of the liquid and then I have a strainer and a milk bag here so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get that big pot of stuff and pour it in We got a little bit left on there. Hold on. Most people probably wouldn't care about this here since it's not actually, you know, going to affect the soy milk itself much, but I want that. I want that. It's called Okara, this stuff here so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do this and I'm gonna seal up my soy milk bag real good this is really hot I don't understand like nobody in these instructions seems to uh, <laughs> figure anything for how hot it is. I think I'm just going to let it sit here and cool for a while. We'll just, I'm trying to get the soy pulp all into like one corner so it'll be easier. You can still see the grooves in the thing from last time I used this and squeezed it. Okay, let's, ooh, here we go. All right, so um, basically all that I have left in order to make the soy milk is to, can we get down here, is to squeeze that out. I, I have to um, separate the pulp from the, uh, soy milk. So I've just got to squeeze that out real good and what's left over that somebody has a really loud motorcycle or dirt bike or something outside. Um, what's separated that soy um, pulp is actually called okara and I use okara in several recipes and it was kind of one of the reasons why I wanted to make soy milk today. Now you hear my dog drinking. Wow, just the utmost professional here. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and once that cools down a little bit, I'm going to, um, you know, wring that bag, that milk bag as good as I can so that I can, um, get out that okara and i'll put the okara in a container i think it's good for up to four days maybe five um in the refrigerator i did look it up though at one point and it said that you can freeze okara so that would be nice too you know if you didn't have time to hurry up and it, use it for a recipe for something and i'll show you um something or other that I I'll make with it I make a I've made a couple different things with it so I really like the okara um one thing that I wanted to mention is see these these little um bean pod shells here uh last time I took those out and then I like at the end I was like wait a minute why did I even do that why did I take those off of there because they're just going to be stuck in the milk bag <laughs> there's, there's really no point I, it might affect the okara I'm not sure I don't think so because that is going to be pretty much blended up anyway you know 
for anything that I use it for. Um, hmm. I can't think of anything else that I forgot to mention. Uh, so once I do uh, separate that, you know, twisting up the milk bag, I have the jars that I'm going to be putting them in. And uh, if you put it in the jar when it's hot, then it's supposed to seal. And then you put it in and you put it in the refrigerator. And supposedly, I should probably fact check this, but according to the, I think it's the Vegan Pantry um, book, it says that you don't even have to start counting down the time until you open it, and then it's five days. So, like, I can have a whole bunch of these in there, and then once it opens, it's good for five days, and yeah. So that's going to be what I'm going to do. I'm going to fill this up. I've got a bunch of these ready. I got them at Walmart. Pretty cheap, too. Um, so, yeah. So we're going to fill those up and stick them in the fridge so that I have soy milk. I'm going to put the Okara in a container so that I can cook something with it probably tomorrow. Um, maybe I'll make a video of that so you can see what I do with the Okara. And, yeah. I guess that's just about it. Um, hopefully you found this a little entertaining, not highly educational. I mean, you can find this information pretty much anywhere, but, you know, just something fun. A lot of people don't even realize that they can make soy milk or how easy it is. I didn't realize how easy it is. Now, if you wanted to... Oh, goodness, where's the thing? If you wanted to make tofu you get this it's nagari flakes and it is magnesium chloride so you just put that in there and i i had the um hold on hold on can you see it oh you probably can't um Oh, wait, it's up here. You would put in one and a half teaspoons of Nagari flakes into um, a half a cup of water. So you'd put that in, you mix it up, and then... Okay, so what you would do if you're making tofu, at this point where I am right now, once that's cool enough and you squeeze your bag, you would take that milk... And instead of putting it in jars or whatever, you would put it back into your pan and get it, I think, boiling. Let me see if it says. Bring to a boil over medium-high heat. Okay, so bring it to a boil over medium-high heat. And then you have to keep stirring it, otherwise you get tofu skin, which is an interesting thing. You get, you could put the soy milk back in here, get it under medium high heat going, but instead of stirring it a lot, you could just let it go. And then you would use like a stick, which I don't have anything that I can use for it, but I've watched people do it. It's really interesting. You take like a stick and you just kind of skim it around the top and then you pull off the uh, soy skin. And then they have like the people that I've watched do it. They have like resting things and it, they let it dry. Um, the only, there's only been a couple recipes that I've seen. I think I've seen, um, one recipe was for like fake bacon, and then there was another thing. It was for like you use the soy skin on the outside of the, um, you know, whatever you're making your fake chicken with, like seatin, and you would use that to make it seem like there's a skin on the chicken. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's something that you could do with it. There's all kinds of different things that you can do with all of these things, and that's 
why I find it so interesting. It's really neat. It's uh, like food science, you know? There's all these cool things that you can do with all these random things. I'm taking some soybeans that, you know, I bought and I can make all these different things out of them. I can make, you know, soy milk, tofu. You use the okara. You can make the tofu skin. I, there is an, a word a, for tofu skin it doesn't say it here but anyway if you did make the tofu you would put in your um nigari flakes you put them in put it in there and then it separates and it looks really gross and then you take that and you pour and then um the little curds separate from the rest you throw the rest away but keep the curds and then you pack it really good but i'm gonna buy a tofu press so once I get that I'll probably do a video it took a lot of soy milk to make one small thing of tofu but I'll tell you what it tasted really good I made something with it like a, a pasta dish and used that instead of like ricotta cheese oh, so good okay so anyway I think that's probably cool enough for me to go ahead and ring it out and I've got another project that I'm working on <laughs> here now so I'm trying to want to try to